Okay, here are the black copper brands I keep talking about. Now these little guys have been in this breeder right here. I cleaned it out, put new pine straw in it, refreshing their water and their food and their brooder. Actually, I just pretty much, I got a bunch of these containers like this. And I just fixed up another one. Same lid, it's just the container itself is different. Um, so I put them in and out. So while I'm getting one ready, I'll dump out the other and so forth. But they've been in here for, I don't know, 30 minutes. They've already pooped on the brooder, on the <laughs> Eco Glow here. They've already trashed their water. Yeah, you, you guys are just little, little, little jerks. And, I mean, their fig was awesome earlier. And now, I don't know, how, how did y'all manage this? Alright. But three of them have really outgrown the other two. But, I mean, I don't know. Their development is just... Uh, it's not really that far off because they're all getting the what do they call it the comb they're all getting that so i don't know they love pooping on that brooder though jeez well, what's the deal with these black copper morans they just man they little turds but uh i mean this is a it's just a little quick update i wanted to show you the black copper morans they're they're three weeks old and two days now and they, I mean, they're getting some size on them. In fact, I probably need to raise that brooder up a tad. They've grown a little bit more. But, I, they're messy as all get out. The Ostrilops might be the same way, too. I don't know. But, these little guys, they just, boy, they, they create a mess. Oh, they're loud as all get out, too. Scratching. I mean, I don't even know what they're scratching for. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they eat, I tell you what. Cause that thing right there, you can see it's probably... Uh, you see how it's down near the bottom right there? You might not be able to see the... Put my hand in here. It's right about there, the line of food. Earlier when I filled it up, after I did the whole dumping thing, it was right about there, about halfway on this feeder. I mean, they, they tear it up. Boy, I tell you what, they they some hungry little things. Well, I mean, overall, can't complain. I kind of got the I got the phone underneath the lid here so they don't fly out. Cause, boy, I tell you what, they get close every now and then. And I got two hungry dogs. I got that one right there. And well, I thought Bandit was over here. I got two hungry dogs and a cat that would love nothing more than to eat one. So you gotta play a little defense here and there if you got indoor pets too. But as these guys hit about, I would say six weeks old, we're starting to get warmer here in the south. I'll get them out to the coop. So I think he was trying to raise it. <laughs> but it's, I still can't sex them yet because, see the way that one's laying right there? You would think, hen. Right off the bat, but it's hard to tell sometimes. Because these little ones, they don't really run from you near as much as these big ones. So these big ones could be hens. Um, I don't know why. What the heck is... Is it trying to eat poop? Mm, I don't know. But the way that one lays, you would think hen. Because I don't really see the smaller ones lay that way. In fact, I really don't see the smaller ones hardly lay down at all. So I have no idea of how to sex these guys. It'd just be a waiting game. See how they turn out. But three weeks and two days old and they they getting they getting some size on them. Especially compared to where they were. But this is just a little quick update. I wanted to I wanted to post something, I couldn't think of anything else. Jeez, I need to settle the hell down. Down there, okay? But, um, uh, yeah. See, look at it. Look, you see how they're talking about? 
And they will sometimes fly up and hit the top of the lid. What's the awfulest racket you ever heard when they do it, too? Um, I'm going to try and get some videos put up as far as like getting the coop ready and all that. It's, I'm a rookie, so take it with a grain of salt. Learn what you can from me and tell me what I'm doing wrong. And I'm going to go from there. This is, these are my oldest chicks. Three weeks. This is, there you go. See what I'm talking about? But now they do that right there towards the waterer. And boy, do they create a mess. Y'all create a mess. Y'all are messy. Y'all gotta cut that out. Y'all really need more space is what it is. But I just don't have enough to give y'all that kind of space. Not yet. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and cut it out and uh, go from there. Scarlett, you want to say goodbye to the viewers? Huh? You do? What was this right here? What, what, what is all this? Hmm? What is all this? Yeah. You gonna be a good girl. Here, come up and come up. Alright. Here. Show the viewers your trick. Paul. Good girl. <laughs> Scarlett, go ahead and lay down. Lay down, girl. Lay down. Good girl. Can you roll over? Well, lay down. Roll over, girl. Yeah, go ahead and roll over. And yeah, this box is kind of freaking me out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Lay down. Go ahead and roll over. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. You did good. You did good. Well, that's going to do it for us. And Scarlett, she wants to say bye bye. Can you bark? Can you bark? Yeah, she's, she's afraid to do that one. I don't blame her. It should be really loud in this house. What was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Alright. Well. So long for now. Thank you for watching. Peace. <laughs>